Okay, so for now you're just going to come and sit. You can sit on a block or a bolster or anything you want to sit on. You're going to close the eyes. You're going to bring the hands somewhere on the legs in a way that you can relax your arms. You're going to feel your sitting bones on the floor. Feel like you're sitting evenly between the two sitting bones. Feel like you're sitting evenly between the tailbone and the pubic bones. And from this point, you're going to lengthen out through the crown of the head. You're going to do Brahma Mudra. You're going to slowly, as slow as possible, turn the head towards the left. You can open the eyes and just gaze to the side, like towards the shoulder side, not too far away from you. Check your jaw is released and relaxed. Around the mouth is relaxed. And slowly, you're going to turn the head all the way to the other side, very slowly. Back to the center. I'm going to bring the gaze to the third eye between the eyebrows and let the chin come down towards the sternum. I'm trying to keep the back straight so it's only the cervical that move. And then bringing the gaze to the nose, you're going to let the head come back. Lifting the chest, letting the head go all the way back. And coming back to neutral. Moving slowly. I'm going to do that whole round three more times. So first to the left, to the right, down, and then up. Each time coming right back to neutral before doing the next motion. Feel like the chin is parallel with the floor. Face is relaxed. Jaw, throat, forehead.
and coming back to neutral. Next, you're going to let the head come forward. And then just turn and shift like the head's going to look to the right. The face is going to look to the right. And you're going to bring your right arm over the left side of the head. And just let the weight of the arm add some stretch alongside the neck. You'll be stretching the left side of the neck. You might just shift it a little bit to find the place that stretch, stretches the best for you. Make sure you're relaxing the right shoulder so you're not tensing the right side to stretch the left side. And then releasing. And bringing the chin to center. Dropping it. And turning to face like you're looking towards your left chest. Bring the left arm over the right side of the head. And just let the weight of the arm help stretch that right side of the neck and shoulder. Then releasing. And you're going to lean forward to come onto the knees. If this is not comfortable for you. You can stay in the cross legged position. And you're going to bring your right arm in front of you and bring the left arm over the right, intertwining the lower arms. Close the eyes, relax the neck muscles, relax the shoulders. And then lift the elbows so they're a little bit high. And then push the hands away from you. And you can just experiment finding where the best stretch is for you if you lift the elbows higher or lower. And when you find the right place, just stay there and breathe deeply. And then you're going, going to round your back, bring the elbows to the navel, and just let the head drop. And then coming up, releasing the arms, bring the left arm in front, right arm over, intertwining the arms. And then once again, relaxing the neck muscles, relaxing the shoulders, and seeing if you lift the elbows, push the hands away, just finding the place that feels the nicest stretch for you. Rounding the back, bringing the elbows into the belly, and letting the head drop.
and then releasing. Next, you're going to bring your head as close to your knees as possible, keeping the chin in as much as possible, <coughs> rounding the back. And then you're going to roll on the head. You can tuck the toes under, hold around the ankles or the feet, and stretch the neck and the upper back. Just releasing. You're going to interlace the fingers behind the back and then rolling again, letting the hands fall behind the head. Slowly rolling out. Coming into child's pose. Putting the hands on the floor beside the knees, keeping the head heavy, pushing into the hands as you slowly roll up one vertebrae at a time. And then you're going to go into partners. And Kaisa lie down here with your head this way and so what you're going to do is your partner's going to go into Shavasana and you're going to try to reach under their shoulder blades and just press your fingers into the trapezes between the shoulder blades alongside the vertebrae and I'll just do it quickly you're going to walk your fingertips up and then you're going to take your hand on there and slide it up the neck and so that you're holding their skull. And you're going to pick up the head, take one hand under, so she has to stay relaxed so the head is heavy. And then you can massage her with one hand, lengthen the muscles, switching hands, massaging. Do that a few times. And then you're going to take your fingers it's at the, around the occiput area, like here, and your fingers under kind of like that. And then just stay there for a little while. And she relaxes her muscles and lets the weight of the head go into my fingers. Okay, so you go in partners and do that. I'll finish with you since I started. <laughs> Loca, summer star.